Info. John Higgins to break, and our commentators on this one, Willie Thorne and Clive Everton. in the middle pocket because the cue ball was careering into the pack. Paul Sweeney, one. Always a little bit tricky when you're trying to roll off of a ball, especially when you're tied on the cushion, but it's once again left John Higgins the aggressive safety he normally plays. He usually plays a little bit thicker than most of the top players. Always tends to want to bring like a few reds out into the open. Once again, there we see seven or eight reds on the move. Thereby bringing the black into play, which was tied up before. attempting the long pot but made sure he got the cue ball back to the ball cushion Well, there is a thin edge on the right hand side of the table which he can utilise. Well, that was unlucky. It's going to be more difficult for Higgins to play from near the ball cushion and it's going to be playing from the ball line. Just wondering whether John's going to play this low drag shot here and try and get onto the black. Any sort of bounce a couple of inches on and off the cushion will leave a very difficult red for Paul should he miss it. But the way he's playing it isn't look like missing anything. One.
Watkins, one of the army of players now who has that little four or five inch extension that he's able to put onto the queue to 16. stop him using the rest. Doesn't really have to do too much with the cue ball. He may cannon into the three reds that are near the pink spot here rather than do anything else and just brush off them. He may now just be okay. I think he's going to have to play it with a little bit of side to flick it in. That's the reason I thought he was going to play the other three because he wasn't guaranteed to get onto a red there, but he's played it well. 24. frame of 88 came to an end with a similar sort of red to this. Not this time. <laughs> he played that one with great care. I think he lost his concentration with the one in the last frame. 39. exhibition of rate building that we've seen so far in professional snooker this season. 48. It does look to be an outstanding form. Breaks of 121 in the opening frame, 56 in the second, 55. 88 in the third, and uh, again well in with 55, and this the fourth. Fifty-six. And this is Paul's only hope. He's going to have to, but I don't think he can go by the reds without canning him on, and it's very unlikely he's not going to be on a red if he goes into the little cluster. So this is Paul Sweeney's last chance in this frame. I think. Does he get a good kiss? And he has, so that looks like two more shots away from a 4-0 lead. 63. 58. This is the sort of fluency and consistency that Higgins showed in last spring's World Championship. When he scored 485 points without reply. 71 against uh, Anthony Hamilton. Seventy-two. He's really in the groove. And the high break price is beckoning in here. Possible 138 available. The high break nine. being 134 by Robert Milkins and uh, just a quick comment about that break. Robert Milkins actually missed the pink with a possible 147 on. I don't think you get too many chances in professional snooker to do it. Great performance, but John Higgins may surpass that break here. Pink for a hundred, but position on the red is what John will be looking for. Ninety-five. 